was that? All right, you ready? Yep. yep. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Eric Brown, and I have with me today Fred and Donna Dupuy. Fred worked with me over the last couple of years on a um, legal matter that ultimately went all the way through the arbitration process before we settled. And I think it's going to be helpful for folks out there to hear what the process was like and how we helped Fred and Donna get a good outcome. Fred, what did you think was most important about the relationship that you had with me and my law firm? First of all, um, character, integrity, and trust. Those are three uh, very important words in my vocabulary. And I knew it um, in the first 10, 15 minutes that I met with you. As a matter of fact, I was impressed uh, when I reached out to you. You reached out back to me at about 11 o'clock at night. And then you said, well, let's meet Saturday morning at 9 o'clock which even impressed me more. It just showed me that you were dedicated, um, that you were someone who took an interest in their clients. And uh, just those two small things uh, spoke volumes about you. I was very, very impressed with your credentials and your, your presence and uh, just your manner. I, I, I felt extremely comfortable with you. And you know, when I, um, when I hire clients, I, I also look for some of the same characteristics, right? Because there's some people out there that I know I cannot work with. You had been wronged in your job. And I also thought that you were the type of person that I could work with so that we could make it right. From being the client, when it's you personally, emotions creep into the conversation. Yeah. And emotions are a big part of having to deal with the client. And I think you did that very well. I had to sit back down and kind of just say, listen, he's the expert. He's been through this before. I haven't. So um, I'm going to defer to him. I hired him. Uh, he's in my best interest. So you were very, very good at that. Thank you. Thank you. Da Donna, what did you think that your role was in this whole process, right? Because you're Fred's biggest supporter, obviously. And this, what happened to him hurt you probably as much, if not more, than it hurt Fred. What did this whole process mean to you? Having him have to go through this was probably one of the most difficult things I've had to do our family have, has had to do. We knew uh, without a shadow of a doubt that he was you know, being wronged by the company. And to watch him go through all the emotions from you know, shock to anger, to sorrow, to you know, feeling that his whole life was basically ruined because of somebody's um, vendetta against him. There are times when I said to him, you know, is this, is this worth it? Is this worth your, your emotional and physical well-being? Because it was very hard on him and, and me. But ultimately, we decided that it was worth it because I don't think he would have gotten better <laughs> if we didn't go through it. One of the things I always tell my clients when they first come meet with me and we talk about going down the road of litigation is, um, it's not like TV or the movies. It's a long process and it's emotional and you need to be physically well and mentally well to go through it. Were there certain things, Fred, that you did to take care of yourself through the process that were important to you? It, I can say with all honesty, it's all consuming uh, and it, it's from morning till night. So you need to do things that divert your attention or your thoughts. Uh, I wasn't working anymore. So that was a, a, a shock. I tried to keep busy uh, and engaged with um, some cl did. close friends who were very supportive and family members. And one thing that I, I thought uh, was very helpful. I was fortunate to have an EAP program uh, with my employer, and I availed myself of that. The individual that I was working with was extremely helpful in terms of helping me um, emotionally navigate this, this time. Yeah, I think that's great advice, and it's a, a common piece of advice that I give my clients, which is, hey, you need, you're going to need a lot of support going through this, and one of the great ways to do it is to have a third person therapist. And it doesn't have to be a therapist. It could be a priest. It could be somebody you trust, but not necessarily a friend or a spouse because your friends or your spouse or your children are going through the emotional uproar as much as you are. And they love you. And so they feel the pain too. The third person can give you a better perspective on things and help you navigate it. So I, I thought that was important. Did, did you feel the same way, Donna? Absolutely. There were times where I would just have to leave the house or go for a walk or, you know, just, just to get away from, from Fred because he was so emotional 
and you're right, it, it hurt me too to see him that way because he's normally very strong and you know I, I lean on him you know so this was like a kind of reverse roles and uh, it was tough but we we got through it together we did mm -hmm. yeah I thought that you you did handle it in a healthful way the two of you because it, it is difficult sometimes there's days where you get body blows right mm -hmm. um, but you were resilient in that regard so you, I think you had all the systems set up to help you through it thanks both of you for taking the time today nope